An emergency march for Jacob Blake in Burlington has been going on for more than 24 hours. Blake was shot in the back seven times by a white police officer in Kenosha, Wisconsin, three days ago. The local group says the efforts will continue until the Burlington Police Defi Department fires three of its own. Local 22's Jolie Sherman is live tonight with us in Battery Park to fill us in. Jolie. Well, good evening, Lauren. You know, the protests have been going on for over 24 hours now, and it's far from over. As you can see behind me, the protesters are now outside the Burlington Police Department, where they're asking questions for, to uh, De Chief Deputy John Murad, and they are asking questions face to face about why Burlington's three police officers who were involved in incidents of excessive force are still not fired. Those are the sounds of protesters who have gathered together in honor of Jacob Blake. And they've been chanting for over 24 hours, demanding change at the local level. One protester told me the effort started with 50 people Tuesday night. That number dropped to 30 later Tuesday night after individuals unaffiliated with the protest threatened to come back with guns. However, no one was harmed. None of the protesters agreed to speak on camera. They told me they're tired of explaining themselves and believe their protests say exactly what needs to be said. Acting Burlington Police Chief John Murad says he and his staff and the greater Burlington community treasure freedom of speech. Recognize that these protesters are expressing themselves in a way that is peaceful and is currently orderly. But he says immediate neighbors have complained about the noise. Protesters explain that they won't stop until Sergeant Jason Bellavance, Officer Corey Campbell, and Officer Joseph Coro are fired. There are incidents that have been addressed through disciplinary processes and through uh, processes that are in accordance with the law and with our contracts and our personnel rules, um, and I'm not really going to comment further on those. The protesters have a list of demands, one of which is the use of body cameras, a measure Chief Murad says he's happy to discuss. We're happy to talk to activists and people in the community who want to understand the body camera issue better and to uh, talk to us about what our plans are for body cameras. Absolutely. I, I hope that we are going to be able to find some common ground to work from. Dignity. Yes. Justice. Yes. Respect. Again, uh, we had many attempts and asked many people, the protesters specifically, for an interview, but none of them wished to speak with us on camera. As far as common ground goes, we've been hearing applause and claps, so it appears to be common ground is getting there. Reporting in Burlington, Jolie Sherman, Local 22 News. And Julie, we understand that the Attorney General in Wisconsin is having a press conference soon where he will give an update on the Blake case.